All right, hello. Um, I want to go over something uh, short and sweet, but it's actually super duper important and actually not very well known. Now, there's one thing that does not, I don't think it gets talked about enough. When you're photographing people, uh, you, you might have heard that, you know, some people when they are photographed by photographers or whatever, uh, you might hear stories, oh, you know, oh, you know, I don't like getting my photo taken because I don't feel comfortable. And, um, you know, oh, you know, oh, he was a great photographer because I felt like I could be myself. Uh, or, you know, or, you know, uh, for me, um, when I've photographed people, I've photographed a lot of people uh, in recent years and stuff like that. I started off just shooting products. That's how I uh, began as a photographer. Just shooting things that weren't real, basically. Things that weren't alive. But when you photograph people, there's this little X factor that I want to tell you a little bit about that um, when it comes to portraits or anything to do with people, events, these sorts of things, you really need to keep this in mind, right? And I don't know how many other people talk about this, but I want to talk about it because I found it's made such a difference. Like, when I walk away from, you know, photographing people, almost every time I get, I get some kind of comment from them and they're saying that, wow, that wasn't like uh, earlier photos that I'd taken. And it wasn't anything to do actually with the camera I had, the lighting I had, I talk a lot about lighting and how important that is. But when you're talking about people, it don't actually matter uh, how good your lights are, your camera equipment, how good the angle was or anything like that. Because there's this, uh, there's this little X factor when it comes to photographing people that you need to know. Okay, so, all right, so imagine this, right? You've seen, you, you've seen photos, I'm sure, where, hey, the person looks beautiful, uh, the lighting was amazing, da 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 But those aren't the photos you remember, are they? Necessarily. Those photos you remember are the photos where the person themselves, in a portrait, etc., where they were, it doesn't even matter what they were doing, but when you saw their, their expression, their face in the image, it hit you, it hit you and you felt something. Can, can you remember the last time you saw that in an image? Now, why is that? And why is it that sometimes it happens and sometimes it don't happen? You could say that it's like, okay, you know, like capturing the moment. Oh, this is not going to be a complicated little spiel. All right. Good. The point I'm trying to make here is you as a photographer, if you want to take good photos of people and you want to really see the person, who they are, what they're about, get them to express themselves to you, to really open up. How do you do that? Well, from my experience, this is how you do it. You, you allow that person to be themselves. You allow them to be themselves. As in, you don't rock up and say, okay, strike a pose, let's take a photo of you. You're gonna look amazing. When does that ever work, ever? If you came up to me and wanted to take my photo, and you said that to me, I'd be like, sure, I'll be myself. No. So, yes, it's about capturing a moment, but that moment won't even happen if you as the photographer cannot allow the person to be themselves. You've got to be, you've got to, it's, it's more of a relationship thing, right? And it, it don't even actually apply only to photography, but like, you know, any, any person who you're working with, who you felt, wow, you know, like he, he was a, he was a good guy. You know, I really like that girl. You know, she, you know, it was, it, I felt comfortable, you know, all this sort of thing. 
you've got to you've got to be yourself and you've got to allow them to be themselves. Being fake never works. Because why? Because you look at the finished image and oh yeah, that's fake. They weren't being themselves. Uh, you know? And you get a real uh stuck idea about this from you know people who say oh i hate school photos oh i hate having my photo taken oh 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 when you get that sort of reaction you know that the photographer themselves actually didn't do their job properly because it's not about your equipment in this sense it's not about it don't matter how good uh, pretty you can make the person look if if you really want to get an emotion captured in an image an emotion is different to a pretty face, clean skin, photoshopped hair, perfection of the angle. There's a little X factor, right? And it's it's like, I don't know, call it what you will. It's like uh, some kind of airy fairy, spiritual blah, 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 blah. Okay? But you basically got to be a person, be real with the person, be in communication with them, let them express themselves, let them blah, and when in the middle of that click, Get that little magical note. I don't know how else to explain it. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like if you're having like just this deep and meaningful conversation with someone. Um, there's, there's no correct way to do it, but you just got to do it. And if you can do it, you can, you can take some really cool images which really show the person because you've allowed them to open up to you. I hope, I hope I'm not coming across like I'm just jabbering on. I'm trying to like sort of look at this from a million angles, but it's actually super simple. It's just like allow the person to be themselves. If you go into it with an ego, like you're better than them, like, you know, I'm this professional, you should be intimidated by me, all this kind of stuff. No, you will not gain respect or friends like that. And you will not take a good photo of someone. It's an interesting subject to go over, but it's like, it's like, okay, good. You're going to photograph people will be a person yourself. Be there, be caring, give a damn. And they'll show you who they are. There's a little philosophical something rather for you. Okay. Ask me a question if you do, but that's all I have to say about this.